Welcome to Unit 7. What I'd like you to do during this unit is to consider Barbara Carper's um, landmark paper that was published over 30 years ago, Fundamental Patterns of Knowing in Nursing. You'll find this available from the Seton Hall Library e-reserve section. This paper considers four things. Empirics, aesthetics, personal knowing and ethics. You might realize that um, we've started to consider two of these things uh, already. So during this course we've been having a look at the empirics of nursing science. We've also started to have a look now at the aesthetics of nursing science. So if you remember back to last week's unit. Um, and uh, in a very short while we're going to be having a look at personal knowing. But first, let us have a look at uh, um, empirics. Now empirics is uh, a description of what we as nurses do. It is the science of nursing. Um, it's still in development. Rather than being deductive, it's now taking an inductive approach. It's with some irony, of course, that I include these two pictures early on in this presentation, because that's not what nursing science is all about. If you believe, like me, that nursing is all about being with people, then the science of nursing should be descriptions of that um, process of being with people. The art of nursing, or aesthetics, is all about the delivery of nursing science, or as Carper would call it, uh, the empirics. So there we have aesthetics. That's the art of being with people, perhaps empathy. Personal knowing, Carper maintains, is one of the most difficult um, of the patterns to define. She says it's about knowing self. I would interpret that as being um, knowing what kind of impact you as an individual would have on a patient or client. And finally, we come to the pattern of knowing that Carper called the ethical pattern of knowing. She identified it as being a nursing which is focused on matters of obligation and uh, a need to carry out what ought to be done. Uh, this knowledge and morality simply goes, and I'm quoting here, beyond simply knowing the norms or ethical codes of the discipline. So in other words, it's nursing uh, acting at all times in an ethical manner. I hope you've enjoyed this quick vodcast. Um, read Carper's paper carefully. What are your thoughts? How has she contributed to the development of nursing science? Carefully refer to the Blackboard unit notes and questions in order to answer this week's unit task. And goodbye from me.